January 28, 2019, Tony Diaz was killed riding his bike home from work, hit by a Cap Metro bus on the UT campus. According to court documents, the contracted driver, Mindy Stafford, was slow to react as passengers yelled at her to watch out for the cyclist. Detectives found four prescription medications in Stafford's backpack, medications with side effects that include confusion, dizziness, and drowsiness. No alcohol or illegal drugs were found in her system, but she did fail a sobriety test. Originally, Stafford faced manslaughter charges, now charged with negligent homicide. She is expected to officially accept a plea agreement on Wednesday for seven years deferred adjudication, essentially probation. We have been waiting several years for some resolution on the criminal case, and I am very troubled to hear uh, what the resolution is. Adam Lowy represented the Diaz family in a wrongful death lawsuit. They were able to negotiate an undisclosed settlement. It is ridiculous. This woman should spend some time in prison reflecting on killing this young man, and it is so troubling to hear that some sort of deal like this is going to be struck. The DA's office was unable to comment ahead of sentencing, but a spokesperson told us more information on the plea deal will be shared Wednesday. A family member of Diaz also spoke with Fox 7 briefly, saying she can understand why some people think seven years deferred adjudication is not enough time to serve for Tony's death, but their family is very forgiving and okay with the plea deal.